hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for today thank you so much guys if you are new here and you haven't subscribed please do me a favor and you tap the literate subscribe button and if you didn't know my name is milton Fonkwa, and uh, in today's video i'm going to be talking about student hostel or student accommodation in north cyprus all right north cyprus is a a small island located in the Mediterranean Sea, south of Turkey and east of Greece, all right? So today, I'm going to be talking about student um, accommodation. Yes, um, please, if you are a student and you are already in North Cyprus, or if you intend to move to North Cyprus, this video is for you. And first of all, let me start with the parents. And Afri our African parents have to note that this country is a, a small island with little jobs. So before you send your girl child or boy child to that country, you have to consider some he, the monetary, uh, let me say monetary aspect of it, all right? The finance that he or she is going to be using and um, for accommodation, tuition and all the rest, all right? Finance in general, as a parent, you have to consider finance if you want to send your child to North Cyprus, okay? Guys, please, don't forget, I have some other videos on my channel about North Cyprus, so it is going to help you if you can check them out. I will be grateful, and there are a lot of information in informations in those videos that uh, are going to be very helpful to you. All right, now, as a parent, let me start with the parents or our fathers and mothers. Please, if before you send your child to North Cyprus, let me say the girl child, all right? You have to be, uh, let me say, very careful with the information you get from people. And again, before you as a parent, before your girl child moves to North Cyprus, please make sure you have enough money that uh, she can be uh, taking care of herself. That is the first point. Make sure you have a lot of money that uh, she will be paying for her tuition fee and uh, her transportation. Transportation in North Cyprus is not that uh, expensive. I think with 20 lira, you can move in and out of Kyrenia to Nicosia. But parents have to note this before you send your children to North Cyprus, especially the girl child, because the girl child is exposed to a lot of dangers in that country. All right. It is a good country to go, but before you send your daughter there, please make sure you have enough money to give the child monthly allowances or things like that all right because she cannot be able as i know she will not be able to work and take care of her own self all right there are a couple of things in north cyprus our parents need to know why i say so is because if you are sending your child to school make sure you can sponsor the child and if you don't have enough money look for another country because the girl child is exposed to a lot of molestation in north cyprus especially when if he she is staying in a let me say in a a city where um where the transport system is difficult because there are school buses that goes to some cities like the city of Kyrenia the Cyprus International University school bus does not does not go to Kyrenia all right so in that case your girl child needs to have enough money if she is staying in Kyrenia to be paying the the the, the mini bus all right with uh, 10 Turkish lira you can move from Kyrenia to Nicosia so please if you don't have it always try to provide for the girl child because they are exposed to a lot of molestation when they are doing the auto stop all right the auto stop is a system where somebody stands on the highway and shows uh, his or her finger like this to somebody driving that I'm going your way can you please give me a lift so that is the meaning of the auto stop so in that case most people in this country especially the Turkish Cypriots or some other people they are trying to molest girls even the boys they go through the same problem so that is it please parents this is very important for you the guys also have a lot of problems with that too especially um, when the transport is difficult now i'm going to be talking about the student hostel or let me say student accommodation and housing in north cyprus all right first of all as a student going to north cyprus all right uh, you have to consider your accommodation i will advise you before you go to that country always have at least 300 euros in your pocket all right as a student always have at least 300 euros in your pocket the reason i'm saying so is because i have come across a, across a lot of people who are stranded along the way all right when they arrive now to cyprus all right so always make sure you have at least 300 euros in your pocket please before you go to now cyprus to secure your accommodation if you haven't already done so yet all right 
Now, the first major problem with accommodation is that there are two types of accommodation in North Cyprus. You will have the, the, the uh, institutional accommodation, which is uh, uh, hostels, hostels in uh, your schools, all right? Now, I would say there are hostels in schools, or uh, let me say if you can get a private hostel outside, or if you prefer to go and stay in the school dormitory, it is your decision to make. But remember, there are a lot of advantages if you are staying out of the school campus, all right? The first advantage is that the school hostel is highly expensive, all right, compared to outside accommodation. That is the first advantage. The second ad uh, uh, advantage is that during uh, the summer break, all right, the, I mean the three months holiday, you will be asked to leave the school hostel, all right? Whereas if you are living in your private accommodation outside of the campus, you will not go anywhere because you will automatically sign a contract to be paying for your accommodation, okay? So you need to note this, all right? Now, the reason I'm advising international students, if you want your safety, all right, and if you can manage three or four persons to stay we get together in an, a school accommodation, it is okay. If you have the money, it's okay. But remember, before you go into the school accommodation, it will be very expensive. You will be spending like 500 euros, 450 to 500 euros a month at least in a school accommodation, being it a Cyprus International University, Guinea American University, European University of Lefke, Eastern Mediterranean University, or whichsoever university, you will spend at least 450 to 500 euros a month. All right? So that is how it is for student accommodation and again remember there are a lot of restrictions in the student accommodation compared to outside accommodation all right or private dorm uh, private apartments all right so now remember in uh, school accommodations like the the student dormitory you will also have a uh, a room you can share with one other person you will also get a room you can share with two persons or you can have a room where you will be sharing with four persons in that case they are mostly apartments all right so if you are money you will pay according to your money but you will spend at least 450 to 500 euros for student accommodation especially in a school hostel in north cyprus all right so that is uh, what you need to know about school dormitories and when you don't pay it's a problem you are going to be removed from the dormitory all right and in most cases there are uh, students who complain of um, a lot of restrictions all right so you have to consider all of these things and now the other form of accommodation in north cyprus is the uh, private apartment let me say flats or uh, there are other forms which are called private homes all right in that case uh, you only get an apartment you will get a two plus one apartment, a three plus one apartment, or a, a four plus one apartment. Two plus one apartment in North Cyprus means that you go to a room or to an apartment, all right, uh, you will find two sleeping rooms and one sitting parlor plus a toilet and a kitchen. That is the meaning of two plus one apartment. The meaning of three plus one apartment means you will have three sleeping rooms, one kitchen and one toilet and a parlor, all right, a sitting parlor. And now, um, the other form, or one, uh, four plus one apartment, you will have four sleeping rooms, one parlor, one kitchen, and one toilet. In certain cases, people, uh, some students will prefer to get studios, all right? A studios where you can take for yourself alone, or you can share with some other person. But remember, when you are going to private apartments, private apartments in Northern Cyprus, for the total, a cost for two plus one apartment is usually from 350 to 450 euros but again remember it depends on how old the apartment is and what are the facilities in the apartment because now there are a lot of modern apartments in north cyprus where you can even get a two plus one apartment for 500 euros all right you can go to an apartment and they say it is a three plus one they will be asking you 550 euros so it depends again remember it depends on where you are staying, all right? Some cities are quite expensive. A city like the city of Famagusta is quite cheap compared to a city like Kyrenia, all right? Nicosia, too, is also very cheap in terms of student accommodation. But remember, you are going to be sharing this apartment with other people. So if you can accommodate other people, that is going to be a problem. Most of the times, Africans will prefer to share with Africans. Pakistanis would prefer to share with Africans. Um, Indians will prefer to share with Pakistanis and Pakistanis will prefer to share with Turkish but there are a lot of problems because some people will be complaining of 
on hygienic conditions, on, on some uh, dirty habits and all the rest, all right? So you need to note that. Again, uh, remember that in most of these apartments, all right, the money will vary. And before you get an apartment, you will go into an apartment like that. There is something called um, the tenancy agreement, all right? Before you sign a tenancy agreement in outside Cyprus, you must pay a deposit, all right? Now, look at it. If an apartment is 350 euros, all right, you have to pay one month rent, and you also pay a deposit, all right, a, a, an apartment deposit. That is how I can put it. But remember, when you are evacuating this apartment, your deposit will not be given. Please take special note of this. Remember, the people controlling this apartment most of the times are British, Turkish, Cyprites, and all the rest of all nationalities, all right, and all races. But now, before you will be asked that uh, you present a house contract, that is what I mean by a tenancy agreement, a house contract, and before them to sign the house contract, some landlords will take money from you to sign this document from for you, while some others would not, all right. So you need to consider some of these things. And again, in North Cyprus, all right, for you uh, to stay in an apartment, or let me say, if you go there in an apartment and meet some other people, they will ask you to drop or to deposit your own money, which means they had deposited the money before, so they want to take part of your own money, all right, to give the landlord. So that is how the system functions. And remember I said, for you to, do, uh, to stay in an apartment in North Cyprus, you need to get um, a house contract all right and in north cyprus most landlords do their house contract for one year all right and for you to get the house contract you must first of all bring a deposit and a one month rent some ask for two months some ask for five months some ask for seven months all right some six it depends on the landlord and the location in which you are and now the modern homes uh, nowadays that uh, there are some houses that are constructed nowadays in North Cyprus that uh, you will get a most of the times you will find one plus one which means just one bedroom one bath one kitchen and one parlor one sitting parlor and they will be charging you like 600 pounds but remember the facilities it is mostly very new and the facilities in it is uh, very are uh, very good too so you have to consider that and again you have to, as I said, I mentioned before that when you deposit this money to get the house contract, the landlord will sign the contract and bring to you, or you guys will bring in your signatures. But when you are evacuating this, the premises, or let me say the house, there is a policy the landlord will never refund the money. All right. So before you go to now Cyprus, know some of these things and make sure you watch this video to the end, because the landlord will never bring the money because. Most of them are afraid that if you leave their house, they might never find somebody to enter the house. So what most landlords do in North Cyprus is that they are very intelligent. They say before you leave the apartment, you must bring somebody, put inside and you collect your deposit. All right. So that is what most of them they do. So now it is this new tenant that is going to sign the next contract when you evacuate uh, the house. All right. So that is what most of them they do in North Cyprus. And again, um, you have to also understand that some of these landlords behave very funny. Some don't understand English and why some behave very funny, all right? Some will take money from you to sign documents for you and will never sign the documents. So before you give anybody your money, make sure you know the person and you, you are giving the money for a purpose, all right? If he or she doesn't sign, follow up and let him sign the document. Don't stay in somebody's house without an agreement all right some will allow you stay without an agreement but again it's a problem when you get in contact with the police or if something happens within the neighborhood all right so you have to be very careful about those things and again um, as i mentioned before um, it is very advantageous for you to live in private uh, apartments all right out of the school campus because if you have a small job let me say for uh, student accommodation or on campus accommodation if you are a student you will be living on campus but remember there are security checks all right a lot of security checks with on campus accommodation so at times they will say don't come in from 10 p.m don't come in uh, from 9 p.m and so on but with your private accommodation if you have a job you can go to your job and come back at your own time that you know or if there are some private apartments 
in north cyprus that are controlled by security men yes it is very good to stay in an apartment in an apartment controlled by security men because you might not have anybody just run into the hostel like that all right and then start doing funny things so you have to always consider some of these things and again i want to elaborate on something please before you go to north cyprus make sure you have money to sponsor yourself because you will not be able to work there pay your accommodation feed yourself pay your tuition fee all right those are very important things you need to know and again know that the rate at which racism is around the world is alarming all right so don't be surprised if uh, turkish people snub you or separate people snub you us as black people we are already used to that all right so you have to understand that and remember in this very particular country there are some of these guys, uh, let me say, some of these uh, nationals or the Cypress or the Turkish people, when you work with them, um, it might take some months for them to pay your money. They are going to delay your money. Some will refuse to pay you intentionally, while some will pay bit by bit, all right? It is not as if uh, those who refuse to pay intentionally don't want to pay. At times, they might not have the money. Sometimes, they will claim they don't have the money. So when you work with these people, you have to know all of these things. Know all of these things before you go to this country. Or if you are already there, know that that is how the system functions. But make sure who is leading you to whatsoever job you are going is a good person. And always ask questions. How does this person pay? Or what is the payment interval or payment period? All right, Because it's very important for you to know. And their jobs there are usually very hard. You will get construction jobs. You will get hotel jobs you will get casino jobs in the casinos and all the rest all right so it is always good and for mothers and parents please make sure you always make sure your girl child is in order because there are a lot of cases where our fellow friends or our fellow sisters give in because they cannot uh, afford to provide for themselves all right that is what is going on in this country there are a lot of uh, human um, let me say a lot of human molestation going on in that country with some certain people all right so your girl children is uh you can ask them they are going to tell you so always make sure your girl child is in good shape and if you cannot provide for her fees and her, her upkeep please don't send your child to that country yes it's relatively easy for anybody to go to that country because one the tuition is cheap when you want to compare it then uh, the housing and accommodation too is somehow cheap yes compared to some other countries and uh, their transportation is not that expensive but before you go there make sure you can sponsor yourself and with things like that and you also have to understand as a student going to that country please note that there are some cities a city like magusa is a little bit far from the from nicosia so if you are studying at cyprus international university always try to get accommodation within the city where your school is located if you are studying at guinea american university know that it is found in kyrenia try to get accommodation in kyrenia because if you don't find accommodation in nearby cities or if you are not staying close to your your, your institution or your study institution it is going to be a problem to you especially during the rainy season or let me say the winter sorry the winter seasons all right because you are going to take a lot of time or let me say it's going to take you a lot of time to before you reach your, your classroom so those are some of the things you need to know please do not be scared or do not be afraid or do not uh, be surprised when something like a racist act happens to you know that us as black people or even the white people there there is a lot there are a lot of racist people in the world now so just be careful and study safe and stay safe respect people and respect the laws in any country you go okay so that is how north cyprus functions all right and in some cases um when you sign a contract with these people or let me say uh, with the tenant uh, with the landlords all right some of them will even tell you that you can bring more people within your apartment which means that if you are four in an apartment and you think the money you are paying let me say if you are paying 400 euros and um, pounds 400 pounds sorry if i didn't mention that the most of their houses are paid in british pounds so that is another problem because you'll be working in turkish lira and paying your house in british pound and paying your house in british pounds and again paying your tuition fee in euros those are bigger currencies compared to the turkish lira so it's a very big problem you will not be able to pay your tuition fee and fit yourself and pay for your accommodation if you are working and most of the times their jobs are very hard as i said you can be working for like 13 hours for how much 
maybe thirteen dollars, fifteen dollars for thirteen hours. So that is a problem. Even to study, you will not be able to study. So our parents, our sisters, our brothers have to note this. All right. If you are already there, struggle and see how you can graduate. All right. Because I know it is uh, going to be difficult for you, especially if you left your country or your your, your home without knowing some of these things. All right. But notwithstanding, always try around. You always find people to help the situation, all right? So don't be scared. Be courageous and uh, try to work with uh, the rules, all right? Governing the country, all right? So that is what I brought to you today uh, from North Cyprus about accommodation, study, uh, student accommodation, and the rest, guys. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do me a favor and you tap that little red subscribe button. And if you haven't been sharing my videos please i am begging and encouraging you to also help and share the videos all right because there are some people somewhere who need these videos thank you so much guys for today and remain blessed in my next video i'm going to be bringing you student accommodation in poland thank you so much guys and remain blessed bye bye